Hi there, my name is John and we're going to be doing some load testing today in this Ruger Red Hawk 44 Magnum. Specifically we're going to be testing a 405 grain monster. I've laid out three bullets for you for size comparison so you can get an idea just how big this bullet is. First is a standard 240 grain lead semi wad cutter. Next to that is a heavy for caliber 300 grain spear jacketed soft point. And lastly we have the big one, a 405 grain flat pointed gas check bullet. Now we're going to be pushing this big boy about a thousand feet per second. Not super fast, but with that much lead it should do some serious damage. A gentleman by the name of Flat Top asked me to do some load testing for him and I was more than happy to do so. So let's take some loaded ammo outside and see what we get. Okay, so first we're going to test for accuracy. I have all six chambers loaded and I'm going to be firing slowly in single action from just 10 yards. This is just to get an idea of how well these bullets work in this particular gun. We'll cover why we're firing these from such a close distance in a little bit. Alright, here we go. Well, it looks like the group is around three, three and a half inches. Recoil was stout. It's manageable, but it's it's pretty stout. Uh, well, now we're going to do some penetration tests. Accuracy is not bad, and I'm looking forward to see what these things do on harder targets. The gentleman who came up with these monsters is looking for a bullet that is capable of punching into the central nervous system of a grizzly bear. And if you have an angry Bruin after you, you don't need spectacular groups. You need spectacular results. Well, we're hoping these bullets can do just that. So I have 11 inches of dried firewood stacked up, and we're going to see how far this bullet can make it into that from, again, a distance of just 10 yards. Well, it looks like the bullet uh, was able to go in. Uh, about an inch and seven eighths. It's not quite as much as I expected. It's pretty good, but I thought we were going to get more penetration than that. Well, now we want to see what happens in a soft target. In this case, it's a one and a half gallon laundry jug uh, filled with water. And we want to see what happens after the bullet has passed through a full one inch of kiln dried walnut. This is hard stuff. Now, I put a picture of a very unhappy grizz on the front just to give me a little extra incentive. So let's see what this bullet does. Well, I think that pretty much sums it up. I hope you enjoyed seeing some load testing done as much as I've enjoyed doing the testing. So thanks for watching and thanks to Flattop for the chance to try these out. It's been a lot of fun.